Hi, I'm Ethan Reeves, the developer of Extemp Genie, and in this video, we're going to be covering six little parts of Extemp Genie that we haven't looked at in any of the other documentation videos. The first thing we're going to look at is the integrated help. So it turns out that from any page in Extemp Genie, for instance, the folders and collections page, you can actually view help documentation right in the application. So if you look at the toolbar, you'll see the small eye icon that says help. If you click on that, you'll get a quick rundown of what that page does, the important parts, and how to use it. So that's the first thing for this video. The second thing we're going to look at is keyboard shortcuts. From this help pop-up, click Keyboard Shortcuts Guide, and you'll get a list of all of the keyboard shortcuts that Extemp Genie has. Extemp Genie has extensive keyboard shortcuts, because when you're in a round trying to compete as quickly as possible, knowing your way around the keyboard and being able to navigate almost the entire application without touching the mouse can give you a competitive edge and let you prep faster and easier. So I'd recommend that everyone, if you're an advanced competitor or just happen to like keyboard shortcuts, take a look at all of these, because there's some really useful stuff here. The third thing we're going to look at in this video is the integrated round timer. If you look at these three parts of the toolbar right here, we can see we have a timer. So let's start the timer. And it's going to count down from 30 minutes. We can also pause the timer and reset it. However, there are many leagues where you don't have just a 30 minute timer. You might have a 20 minute round. So how can we change that? Turns out we can do that with the fourth thing we're looking at in this video, which is Extent Genie settings. If you click on this little gear icon in the toolbar, you'll open up the settings. First of all here, we have the source manager. This is where you can control what sources Extemp Genie is going to autofile. If we click over here on Extemp Genie settings, we can see the settings we have. So you can log out of your account. You can send the logs to the developer, which is something that's useful for debugging. And you can change how highlights display. Some leagues only allow one color highlights. So if you've highlighted articles in multiple colors, this will allow you to flatten that all down to one color or hide highlights altogether. And you can set the length of the timer right here. Great. The fifth thing we're going to look at in this video is the Extemp Genie sidebar. Now, the Extemp Genie sidebar is where the articles open. You can see those opening over here. And that's really useful to have open most of the time, but sometimes you just really want to read an article. So you can actually hide the sidebar using this icon in the toolbar, hide slash sew sidebar. And then to open the sidebar again, you can move your cursor, your mouse, over to this side and the sidebar will pop out. That's the fifth thing. Let's open that back up. The sixth and final thing for this video is database statistics. Sometimes it's useful to see when articles in your autofile database are from or what publications they are, and you can do that by clicking this database statistics button right here. Let's let those load, and you can see articles in the database per week. This gives you an idea of what and from when articles in your database are from, and a total number. And you can also look at source statistics, which this will show individual sources how many articles are from each source. Those are just a few quick tips and extra little tidbits in Extemp Genie that I thought you might find useful. 